I'm free in this bitch. <laughs> Harambe. Harambe. I don't even think that's right. But that right? I don't know. That's what you say during pause. Harambe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jacqueline. Yeah. Salutations. Happy Juneteenth. This episode is sponsored by Dollar Tree. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I told you, Dollar Tree, for all your Juneteenth needs. If you can't find freedom nowhere else, apparently it's at Dollar Tree. You feeling like your pockets have been enslaved at the other chain stores? Come on and free your ass down at the Dollar Tree. Look. You're already late. Okay. <laughs> Happy Juneteenth. And they lynching with prices. <laughs> Why? And for y'all who kept asking how the hell I thought, you look at this and tell me this don't look like a rolling tray. It, it's a rolling tray. Tell me that don't look like a rolling tray. Now, yeah, it's a pack of plates when you look at it from this angle. But if you're just looking at it right here, you'd be like, oh, that's a Juneteenth rolling tray. Look at that, Jew. Look at the craftsmanship on that. I can see an eighth being broke up right there from that right now on some Bob Marley papers. All I'm missing is like the holes to drop your papers in and you use it. That, huh? we even got we even got napkins we even got our juneteenth napkins uh -huh. shout out to the dollar tree the only place the only even place. it affordable i got all this stuff for 719 with I tax have problem with that we hold on we even got juneteenth cups the only thing we kept it classy with was we said we gonna get some cognac we have a fine we have a fine spread <laughs> brought to you by the peoples of popeyes and the watermelon field. We're gonna drink some 1738. We're drinking some cognac and some, some coke. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> and then boom. We're gonna drink a little splash more. Cause you know, I like, oh damn, we knocked that back now, real listen, fast. Okay, yeah. yeah, we're gonna need some we need some Coca-Cola for that. Now you, you know they love us. You know how niggas during during the times. Look, the, the bros at Coca-Cola. Have sponsored Juneteenth. Thank Everyone's you. sponsoring Juneteenth this year. Yes. Have, have a good day off. Drink you some cognac. Matter of fact, we got some, we got some motherfucker. We got some Popeye's chicken here. We got our Juneteenth plate. We got some watermelon. We out here eating good. It's about to be a wrap. Yeah. We 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 are doing traditional Negro activities. Because this is apparently, I think this is what they thought we were going to do. Uh, Let's give them what they paid for. They gave us a day off, niggas. You got to do what you got to do. You got to get a cookout. So go, get, go get your Juneteenth cup from down at the Dollar Tree. Why, Let why, freedom ring. Why y'all drinking drinks, Mr. B? Free, free, why y'all got, this is a Kool-Aid cup. I'm going to let you know. This is now, for medical reasons, I couldn't get no Kool-Aid, but I'm, I stick to the cognac and the chicken. Hey. Salute. Let freedom ring, niggas. Freedom. Hmm, takes him back to St. Louis. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the most valuable podcast. Yes. I stay in my business. Look, I'm going to Because I know more than likely I've been drinking at this moment. So, Look, first of all, this I forgot is? how good a spicy piece of Popeye's chicken could be. Mm -mm -mm. And we got we got we got chicken and waffles, y'all. I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all. We got chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. So you know, at the end of the day, we did it right. The day gonna end. Amen. And this it. And and we got some macaroni and cheese, you know, because that has always been the downfall of black people. That's a fighting point because everybody's mac and cheese has to be different. Mm -hmm. Like, are you a bake on type of cheese type of person? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bake that cheese in there. I um, I believe that uh, there's never too many cheeses in your macaroni there's and cheese. That I agree. I will agree. But I also feel like macaroni and cheese is the worst thing to happen to the black community since crack cocaine. Cause, cause cheese is crack. It, it, macaroni and cheese has broken up more families mm -hmm. than the than the first lady of the church. Or the first lady. <laughs> <laughs> Broke up more families than the first lady of the church. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta try the mashed potatoes, baby. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. With the gravy? With the gravy. How y'all niggas celebrate? How you think? Look, first of all, I do want to say a disclaimer. Mm -hmm. For all our Caucasian friends, our allies, we understand that you want to celebrate and get in on the freedom ringing as well. Don't do it. Don't do this shit to celebrate. <laughs> okay, don't, don't do this it. shit. Okay, my, my white friends, don't just stop sending me. Kevin, stop sending me to Blackfist. Do not, do not send me to Blackfist, Kevin. You know who you are. And don't just give me one day Wu-Tang free, Kevin. Don't do anything black. Just sit in your house and be a white person for a day. Just listen to Taylor Swift and, and uh, Nickelback and shit like that. the most like, white shit that I've heard ever when it comes to Juneteenth, mm -hmm. at least we get a day off. That's you know what? At least we do get a day off. I'm going to agree with you today, Todd. We do. But don't say it out loud. Don't don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. No. Uh -uh. You might as well have just said, should have never gave you niggas money. Mm, I don't know why this cognac and this Coca-Cola is hitting so well. Every time. Oh, 45. <laughs> Every time. It's not mm. a fault 45. Look, we would not do that. 1865. You know the funny part is? Mm -hmm. With this Wait whole... Did you say that year wrong? 1865, right? No, 1738. Oh, no, that's the Remy. 1738, yeah. 1865 is when freedom took over. Oh, my... This is freedom. 1865. <laughs> Thank you, Dollar Tree. But no, you know, I was... I... <laughs> We had freedom. <laughs> we had Remy before freedom. Yeah, Remy before. Yeah, freedom. you see, I didn't want to go too niggerish. I was, I was, I was gonna get some Hennessy, but I said, no, nah, it's seventeen thirty-eight to do. I like that better. Let's class it up a that's bit. A good, that's a, that's a, a good classiness. Put my shirt down. But no, I was it's looking so up good. new, uh, new shit happening because mm -hmm. of Juneteenth. And you know it's laws and everything being being a national holiday. Mm -hmm. And I, I read that in the city of Louisville, Kentucky, they have now dubbed Juneteenth Luteenth. Luteenth. How do how do how do you celebrate Luteenth? Luteenth. How do I feel about Luteenth? I don't so know how you feel about Luteenth, but I feel like oh, you want a little. Mm, yeah. Hold on. That's that Little dab. Little yeah, syrup. no, no. Go. Go. Little syrup, little syrup, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But, yeah, Luteenth. How do you feel about Luteenth? I mm -hmm. feel like Luteenth is... <laughs> what are we supposed to do on Luteenth? Celebrate the cultural influence of Louisville, Kentucky. And That's Juneteenth. like the Confederate flag somewhere in that mix, right? No. I'm, I wasn't too... Uh, that educated on Louisville, Kentucky. I know in Kentucky we have mm -hmm. the Kentucky Derby. There's mm -hmm. a lot of bourbon and whiskey, and there's some good weed in Kentucky. I've heard that bluegrass weed. Blue scenes just sounds like, hey, we don't want to hear about you Negroes. So, um, y'all gonna get blue scene. like that? Mm -hmm. That sounds. <laughs> I thought I felt like maybe you would have something to say as a as a member of the St. Lunatics. Mm -mm. I don't even think we would do that. Because we'd be like, you know what? Lutein, you wouldn't you don't think the city of St. Louis would go for a lutein? No, no. No. We have 314 day for a reason. That's all y'all need. That's all we need. Would you giving us loo? No. Mm -mm. It just sounds like so ass backwards racist. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. It okay. pretty much is. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Three one four day is kind of racist in itself because we don't celebrate no black businesses. But okay. oh, that was so good. I'm gonna eat that chicken in a minute. I just, yeah, <laughs> but Lucy sounds like it comes with sheets, <laughs> pointed sheets, sheets, just pointed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or you don't what trust it, it is what you're saying. Uh-uh. It comes with all hell to lose. <laughs> like it comes with something. The territory of Lutte is not. Yeah. No, that's along the lines of we don't want to give y'all black history books because we don't want y'all to know everything we did. Okay, my question is this. If we're not going to have us a Lutte, if we're not going to let white people eat chicken and watermelon with us, how do you suggest a person celebrate Juneteenth properly? Ooh, reparations. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like I gotta celebrate. Why? Let me let me let you explain while I uh, while let, I, let, me, let me switch to the glasses. I can't see. While I coon it up a bit. Hold on. So mm. I feel like mm -hmm. you're not gonna get a pair with this one. I'm like, can I have a piece? <laughs> Don't be ashamed, nigga. Live your life. Did y'all? I'm gonna eat this watermelon. I don't care who I'm in front of. Now that this is a thing, but I feel like for the Caucasian noise, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. let's let's just let us be. You know what I'm saying? If you see us doing nigger shit, because I I have friends who are like, well, you know, I see black people they be loud on the phone. Just let us be white people. Just let be. I got a suggestion. For Juneteenth, take a couple hundred dollars and just randomly walk down the street and give black people twenty dollars at a time. Or I got this one. I like this one. Go to Starbucks. And every black person you're in front of, pay for that drink. But like, hey, I want to pay it forward. And then you give that black person behind you. Cause you gotta make sure they're black. Like, hey, what did they order? And you got to check it, and you got to look in the review mirror, and then say, you know what? Aha, trick question. Black people don't go to Starbucks. We do. We do. I did. I went to Starbucks recently. You turned me out on Starbucks, actually. When you described that drink, I said I had to have one. Listen. Why Starbucks, what are you doing for, for, for Juneteenth? They got a pan or a cup or something. <laughs> you remember I a couple years ago when... um. Walmart introduced the Juneteenth ice cream and it had red velvet and cheesecake and all types of bullshit in it. Yes. That shit was delicious. I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to to say that shit was delicious. I, I, I unfortunately did not get a chance to try mm. that. Mm. But this watermelon now? Watermelon busting. Mm. <laughs> Fellas, the way she eats watermelon says a lot about her character. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I try not to eat this. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I try not to eat it on camera. <laughs> Today we are let go. We are, man, look. I think I'll have me another piece. Got to be these Juneteenth napkins. Got a Juneteenth napkin. What? Is, what are y'all look? First of all, I'm gonna start calling out these. I'm going back to the chicken. These stores and these chains. Yes. What are y'all really doing for the culture? Okay, that's what I'm gonna ask. I don't think it's. You see that right there? Do it for the culture. Do it for the culture. Fucking Dollar Tree did it for the culture. These glasses are phenomenal. <laughs> glasses, those glasses. I feel like we're at a cookout right now, <laughs> and who's dealing up the spade? I feel like there's a spades table. There's a Uno well, table. Yeah, it's happening. I got my watermelon. Nigga, is is cookout season? Mm -hmm. You know what? I think that's what they gave us Juneteenth for is cookout season. Mm -hmm. Like they know. They want us to spend a little more money. But they know. Any type of time of a cookout, mm -hmm. what are we doing? We going. Are we Niggas. purchasing? Niggas got the Juneteenth. Boat ride. It's happening. <laughs> Shout out to homie Trail Maurice taking holes on boats. But I think that's what we get it. We we got Juneteenth because it's extra money for us to spend in the summer. You got you got to find that. They need to find. They needed to find that that little thing between Memorial Day and Independence mm -hmm. Day to say, you know what, Black people aren't celebrating Independence enough. Juneteenth, it's been in our face. You know, it's actually when it when they made it a national holiday. It became the oldest national holiday hmm. commemorating the liberation, like for black people, basically. Like 
the oldest one before that was Dr. King then, Martin Luther King then. Wow. So that's now became one of the I mean like people in the South been celebrating it since forever. Forever. People who know. I know I know I knew know. country niggas who was always like Juneteenth, man. That's why I knew about it. Like people be getting it wrong, six to eighteen sixty five, eighteen six like no, we were free in eighteen sixty three. But it, the word didn't get there until 1865. It was literally two years. Yeah. <laughs> this 1738 do go hard. It right? does. But no, um, I drink this every uh every New Year's. I drink this and cry a little bit. Okay, fun fact. 1738 is the first drink I shared with my father. Okay. So like our first little moment. It's classy. He was like, you my kid. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I drank 1738 when I made my first 10000 off the deal. Like the first time I made $10,000 oh. profit off a cocaine I, deal. Oh, I, okay, I bring out some 1738. <laughs> I'm really made like eleven five off of this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm drinking me some 17 and I can afford this. No, so you, when, you said that, when you said that today... The police were in front of my house. You were playing, huh? It wasn't for me, though. Thank God. I had the ring camera on. Uh, apparently, it was for my neighbor. <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. But I didn't did it. Because <laughs> 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 I was like, oh. I was looking on that ring camera. I was like, oh, he did that. Whatever he did, he did it. He did it. <laughs> But it was so crazy. My mom was like, you need to find out. Do you know his name? I was like, no. She was like, go to his mailbox, first of all. That's a crime. Um, and my mom says, only if you open it. She wants me to find out my neighbor's name to find out what he did. <laughs> I'm mom is messy. Mom is trying to start some shit. She want to be starting something. And then how about this? The level of pettiness. I said, no, my my daughter said, oh, you sound like you've done this before. <laughs> my mama says, I ain't never had neighbors like y'all before. First of all, ma'am. I forgot my little hot sauce. We forgot the hot sauce. Like, oh, shit. This is good, though. You know it's good without the hot sauce. Hot sauce. On the spicy chicken. I definitely feel like I'm at a cookout. Mmm. Mmm, baby. Hey. Mm. Oh, y'all got some, y'all bringing out some potato salad? Hey, put that right there. Put a corner right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you made some banana pudding? Who made it? Who made it? Because I need questions. I got questions. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for June C, I don't want to see no Caucasians <laughs> in the swimming pool. Are you saying they can't swim? They can't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Don't go to the park and frolic. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's our day. <laughs> Let me frolic. You know what? I had to bite that real good. Because <laughs> that was delicious. Mm. This is so good. You need Juneteenth napkins, baby. Shout out to Dollar Tree. Harambe! You know what? <laughs> <laughs> that right there, I'm called for. <laughs> like, <laughs> First of all, I want to say, mm -hmm. you know what? I have let freedom ring. They're lucky I didn't do like a 21-gun salute. That's happening. Oh, you know what? It's not. My neighbor moved. It's not happening this year. You can't blame it on him no more. Mm-mm. It might be me this year. <laughs> I feel like we're in witness protection while you got the J's on. Like you're on the run. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't wear sunglasses. <laughs> no, just the, the, the style of shade. It's like you obviously got those at a gas station counter. I definitely did. But I want to do a prescription in them because I would feel so fancy. Look, first of all, with those shades on, you can see freedom. <laughs> what? You can see Dr. King's dream. Mm -hmm. I you, eat this chicken. You know what I'm really upset about? Mm -hmm. 
that Juneteenth falls in the middle of fucking Pride Month. And nothing against Pride Month. But <clears throat> if you see me in the streets during Pride Month, you won't see me in any bright colors. <clears throat> mm. I am... What is it about <clears throat> niggas with beards feeling comfortable wearing dresses nowadays? Huh. Is that a... My man. <laughs> oh my God, that's true. Um, Would you like another piece? No, this is getting real good all over here. Okay, I got a little. Yeah, you about to get Haitian on that chicken bone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to let it go. But I feel like the each is its own. But first of all, I got a problem with the men's that got the beards and outdoing me. <laughs> Saucy Santana niggas. Like, don't be up here bodying me. And then I gotta be like, you did the assist. Like, <laughs> that hurts. Like, a little bit of my pride. Um, Because one, your legs look better than mine. God damn it. And I have a problem. But yeah. I feel like, okay, I gotta, I gotta say now. Um, <laughs> I probably look crazy, so. But I feel like for the month of June, I'm gonna put these on top of my head just in case I gotta slide these back down. Um, for the month of June, you I've told you I love a good pride fest. I love a good pride festival. The one I went to that was my most iconic was Maya singing. And I take you there. I wanna go there. Like oh, with that, Blinky Blink, that was my she, shit. She she did that, but. Uh, because I got to like speak to her and like talk to her. That was one of my most iconic Pride Fest. But I feel like with Pride, um, it's 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 a bittersweetness because I I've seen the most best makeup um, faces beat better than mine during this month, and I. I'm sitting here looking like a struggling mama. <laughs> That's what happens. But I grew up on RuPaul. Like RuPaul's Drag Race. Before it was Drag Race. And when it, remember when Ru had the talk show? I grew up on that. So for me, seeing a big, tall man <laughs> in a dress was kind of normal. Most people don't know this, but... My mother used to run around with like this notorious gay dude in 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 Jersey, right? Mm -hmm. And so I seen a lot of that shit early in the game. Okay. My problem with the game nowadays is too many of these niggas is finding pleasure in tricking niggas. That and that is the part that really. But guess who's not tricked? I'm not tricked because I don't even talk. Eddie Winslow's not tricked. Eddie Winslow knows what he wants. He's like, I want the one with the dang a lang. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, I want the one with the dang a lang. Baby, he, he knows what he wants. I need him to stop playing. They got so many questions now about family, man. I can't even. <sighs> but he really liked Steve Urkel's cousin. Was Murder Oracle. Murder Oracle. <laughs> we should have known back then. He like a man dressed as a woman playing his own cousin. That Eddie Winslow. Eddie motherfucking Eddie Winslow. Fucking Winslow. I mean, I to each is your own. I always have to give that disclosure. But don't act like you don't like it. Like, that's what I don't like. I don't like when there are... Clearly, that's what you're into. And... You like boy booty. You like... That's sad, son. Chicks with... Oh, clits. Um, I don't know how y'all do it. Oh, man. I just killed myself. You died. Ate this dry-ass biscuit. Don't do that. I had honey on my plate. I was slapping it. Yeah, I got the honey right here. I didn't put it on the biscuit. You got an emergency pack. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, 
but I felt like everybody should have their own way of how they feel. Um, oh, the honey didn't help. It didn't <laughs> drink. Drink from the freedom cup. Freedom cup. Let freedom ring. Let freedom. <laughs> hey, Popeyes, I got a, I got an idea, Popeyes. Y'all need to talk to Red Lobster Before about they, buying up the biscuit. The Cheddar Bay Biscuit recipe. Then y'all merge y'all biscuit with the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Yes. And we start something completely new. Now, I have the recipe of the Cheddar Bay Biscuits before they came up with a box. So, mine are <laughs> phenomenal. Sweet uh, I will say, mm -hmm. if I ever make them, they're always dedicated to my grandmother because she always wanted me to make them. And I was like, I made them one time and I was like, I'm not going to make them no wonder. And I should have just made them. But she loved them. So every time I make them, they're dedicated to her. Chef's kiss. Mm. Uh, that's to her. But for the most part, like I love the red lobster recipe for the biscuits. Um, only thing is, I think when once you get the box, that's cool. But if you learn like a little hack and you add your own little extra, maybe extra butter, extra this and this and that, so much better. The even red lobster, and they are just when they warm, you probably ready to fight over these cheddar bay biscuits. So I'm just saying, mm -hmm. you know, I look so. Look, we're gonna go back to. <laughs> you look right. <laughs> and I've only been there. We go. Boop. 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 Okay, so I can't see my own eyes. If y'all can see my eyes, <laughs> no, I can't see you. Okay. The can see your eyes. I'm pretty sure you're shaded right now. <laughs> this is okay. So that they can see my eyes for once. I'm not smoking reefer. I've been clean for two days. Two whole days. I'm lying. I'm lying. Yeah, I know that's a lot. I, know. That's, I, I don't even. I'm out here just living life, man. Just I had a uh, a running with a comedian <laughs> the other day. I got cursed out. Behind some uh words I might have said that were choice. When when when? So, <laughs> as you all know, mm -hmm. I'm a troll on the internet. Naturally, I'm a troll, mm -hmm. and I'll say fucked up shit all the time just to get a rise out of the people. Yeah. So a couple of days ago, I'm not gonna say when. I'm just gonna say a couple of days ago. If you go if you know me on Instagram. I put a post up. It was in my story. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll post it again. So that y'all can see it. But um, some of the comments were not too, not too kind. But what I'm going to say is, mm -hmm. when you see the post, email me your thoughts. <laughs> I'm not going to say it right now. I'm going to say, email me your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And we'll revisit it again next episode. See how I did that right there? Like, you see how I did that? I you got the hiccup? Would you like another drink? You need some more Remy? Uh, no. Oh. Plenty. Plenty of Remy in my cup. Okay. Remy, man, you know nothing in my cup. Okay. That's why I was asking because I was about no. to finish the bottle. Go. Go ahead. 1738. Freedom 1738. They got. 1865 celebrate Juneteenth. Look, first of all, on a cup. This is just a special episode of <laughs> the most valuable podcast because I felt like we needed to celebrate. Everybody else be doing Christmas episodes. They do motherfucking Fourth of July episodes. You got people doing special Thanksgiving episodes. Why shouldn't we, as your leading valuable podcast on a weekly basis, not celebrate the most valuable holiday there is in this country? The holiday that gave African-American people their freedom. I just feel. What do you feel? I'm like, what the fuck is that? Um. This, this is valuable. Because being black in America is valuable. No matter how we're yeah. 
Um, it lets you know. This is just. <laughs> the Remy's kicking in. It is kicking in. I feel like this cup. That this, chicken was hidden. It definitely hit. And the watermelon, boy. Baby. White people, I'll at me. Listen, this is a celebration. But I feel like when we get stuff like this, it's it's <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But no reparations. No reparations. No reparations. Okay. No um no equality for real, for no. real. No uh financial freedoms. No, no. Uh but housing. Oof. Damn, that chicken from Popeye. We got a new chicken sandwich. They got a spicy chicken sandwich. They got the very original chicken sandwich. And Kool-Aid cups. And Kool-Aid cups from Dollar Tree. It's it's okay, this is the thing. America. It's the things that we not asking for that we get. We didn't care about the little Indian on lands of Lake uh, Butter, but they took it off. Did not care about Mrs. Butterworth. Did not care about Mrs. Butterworth. She was cool. That was auntie. I that actually auntie. miss Uncle Ben's. I, I miss. Don't even know who to buy rice from. Uh, no that was that was my guy. I don't even know who to buy my rice from. Look, I'm out here wearing a chef shirt from. From bakery because we miss Uncle Ben. We miss Uncle Ben. Like I, it, it's certain things that we we was not asking. We didn't care if if Mammy was in damn Tom and Jerry, even though she was. She was. She was. Uh, Some pineapple juice on it. But I don't think Remy and pineapple juice. Lived. That's on you because I'm too. Good. Good. Sound dangerous. Sound dangerous. Sound like it's like you should some shit you drink in the tropics. It definitely is a tropical drink. Uh, let's see where we go. Hold on, reaction and. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, Bring me a pineapple juice, y'all. Y'all seen it here first. Most valuable podcast. On oh, June 10th. <laughs> and Pina. And Pina. I taste real good. That goes out real smooth, too. This, this Coke is... I don't even drink out of the world like this. is. Oh, I'm actually kind of saucy. We might call this one a little early because I'm going. I want to go take a nap. I got the. I'm a real nigga right now. I got the itis. I want to lay down. That chicken head. I want to poot a little bit. <laughs> Pick up my thing. Hello. Yeah, look. Uh, Pina. 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 Matter of fact, we about to go play Spades or something. We we go Spades game and oh, and a little Uno. Little Uno. Uno. A little. Uno. A little Uno is how you got to celebrate. You got to celebrate with Uno and you got to play with house rules. Who, whose house? Whatever house you in. Whatever house you in. So, so, so whoever house you in make the rules of the, the... Same thing with spades. Same thing with spades. Deuce, deuce, joker, joker. Oh, you do the deuces above the jokers? Whatever they say. Whatever the, I say joker, joker, deuce, deuce. ace. No, Whatever y'all say, it's y'all up, up north. Y'all up north people do that. Like, so I actually prefer to play ace high on spades because that's what real niggas play. That's when I learned how to play in jail. Like jail gets you, you some, get games. you real right. No, no, them are the stabbing rules. Yeah, rules but no, them the shit that gets you, them shit that get you extra noodles during the motherfucking commissary round. A little couple you know hundred, extra honey buns. Yeah, I can't do honey buns. I hate What's wrong with a honey bun? That's the first thing I had when I first went to jail, and that was. Which yeah. one did you have? You had the glazed one. It was the, the extra glaze, like the white was... glazed one. No. The one with the white glaze. So I know. After that? fourteen hours of jail, they gave me a honey bun, and I was like, but... "Man, look, fuck you, Ferguson." Uh, first of <laughs> all, first thing I had in jail, and I feel kind of privileged. The first food I had in jail. Was a Elio's pizza. 
It was privilege. It was pizza day when I first got to jail. And I'm like, oh, okay. this is for I could do this. Like, imagine, yeah, if you come to jail, they give you Elio's pizza. You got the little homie with you. He's oh, like, yo, okay. you want an extra pizza? You yeah. know what I mean? I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, I got two dope. pizzas on my first day in jail. Mm -mm. I was built for that shit. I'm like, okay, well, jail about to be easy. Mm -hmm. Why? Why think it be stunned? I don't. I don't. I don't want to think it's jail is easy though. Like, I don't know. I don't think that's 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 not the jail problem. about to be easy. No, that's not. That's not where I want to be. I don't want to be in easy jail. I want to be in like jail where I'm. I'm considering like. Changing your ways, changing all my ways. I need to turn over. Like, leave. I can't be here. Like when I had my first little DUI, and the lady was like, "I gotta," I was, I told her, "I was like, I gotta go home to my kids," and she's like, "You shouldn't have been outside." I was like, "Bitch, that don't you tell me where I need me?" But I felt that I didn't go outside for a very long time because of that. Because I, I was scared. You were no secret. So right, my unfortunate luck is that every time I'm unkempt I get arrested so whenever you catch me with like my beard is real scruffy and I need a shape up or I need a haircut oh, okay. I'm, I've never ever yeah. been in a mug shot where I was like clean cut, look decent. Like when I'm in a mug shot, oh. I look like I did it. You did that. I you did. did. He did it. He him right there. Like and I I learned that <laughs> when I like it was this one arrest I had because I I honestly didn't do nothing that day. Uh -huh. I was just really in the wrong place at the wrong time. They was doing sweeps, so they they snatched me up too. So I was sitting in there. I was talking to one of my homies, and he got locked up too. And he was in there like, yo, man. And he's like, yo, V, you know I'm always keep it real with you. Like, I, I know you probably wasn't really doing it, like, because you'll keep it funky with me and here it's me and you. Mm -hmm. But, like, looking at you right now, my nigga, you, you don't can't... look like you, you don't look like you want some, nah, some good shit. You look know. like you, you look like you're a problem. You like a nigga, like, like, if we was crossing, if we was walking down the street, and you know me, I'm a real nigga, I've been in the street, but if I seen you walking towards me no, on the street, I would cross the street. And I was like, damn, like, and so ever since that day, the only reason like I be getting haircuts is so that I don't end up in jail because I got a thing where I think like if I keep my like if I look at myself in the mirror, I'd be like, he looks scruffy. Oh, that's mugshot V. Yeah, go get a haircut. I will go to haircut. I'll go get a haircut that yeah. day. Like, okay, I unfortunately have had moments where um my mug shot. Mug shirts, uh, mug shots. Mug shots. Mug shots aren't as cute. They're not cute at all. Uh, but the other ones, the, the ones that didn't count, are really cute. So the ones like I was saying, so I got arrested Once for you got off for uh, the Mike Brown protesting. Got off hell of fire picture. Uh, when I when I had a a, a fender bender and I didn't show up to court and they got me into court. And I had a little shot, and I was like, oh, cute, poop. But the shit that counts, I look rough. Like, I look like if I ever become, like, super, uber famous, I'm going to just have to just say fuck it and put it on a T-shirt. Because I feel like if people find it, they're going to be like, Nigga. I'm like, it's just, it's one of the moments. Like, I, first of all, when my sister and my brother picked me up from that night, um, I look like a prostitute because <laughs> I had pink lipstick on. I had a little dress on. I was like, I was looking cute today. That picture is rough. That picture is, I'm, I'm, don't worry about it. Don't look it up. I'm going to get it a sponge. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I love my pictures rock. I love when I see a good mugshot picture of my thought about like, you see this shit. I want I'm actually thinking about putting it on a t-shirt for not, merchandise. Not this one. Not for me. I'm thinking about putting on a t-shirt for merch. I wanna I wanna I wanna market it and just be like, this could be the nigga in the parking lot waiting for you. That is a good look because you have a whole joke that goes with that. Yeah, like, like, this could be the nigga in the parking lot waiting for you. So you should you should buy a shirt from him before this be the man maybe, waiting. Maybe for I'll you. turn it mine into like a if you don't subscribe to my OnlyFans, this is what happens. It's like 
<laughs> Look, somebody, somebody, somebody sent the message to my OnlyFans page, and they they add they requested some some exclusive content. No what? I'm feeling like maybe I need. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little nervous about what what they want to see, but without being too descriptive, it it require it it. It it said something about rings. So how Hey, depending on what kind of jewelry you like. Look, uh, look. <laughs> so look, I'm I'm still putting that out there. Belly on backs, single belly, plural backs. I was shocked when I saw the message. I thought, you know, I, I thought the only fan things was going was gonna slow out, die out for, you know. After That's the nice. pandemic, but it's you know, fun. people people got their they little things that they like to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I, think I should do a Juneteenth um like shoot on my only fan. And just be like <laughs> <laughs> Would it be would it be what? would it be to uh no. to do like would it be tacky to do a, a Django theme on my OnlyFans page for, for Juneteenth? <laughs> You do a Django thing. You know what? Who that nigga on that nigga? <laughs> that would look. That's a good ass movie. I don't care what nobody say. And oh, that's it. Django is the movie you gotta watch. A motherfucking Juneteenth. Django. You Django know what? Is Juneteenth Freedom Day? Oh shit! I broke shit. Don't worry about that, y'all. I'm saucy. Don't worry about it. We, we break shit all the time. All the time. All the time. Look, that's what the sponsors are for. So, Shout out to Dollar Tree, Popeye's, Bakery. We just, look, 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 hold on. Let me, let me get my little, let me get my little bloom. Let me get my little bloom shit. Bloom. Shout out to Bloom. The people that Bloom, they always send it over good vapes and edibles. Um, but yes, if you are going to celebrate Juneteenth. These are the rules. What are the rules? You have to watch Django. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh no. House rules. Oh no. I want to see Django Double, Uno. versus. Ooh, pile on. Pop. Draw two, draw oh, four, draw six, draw eight. And then draw fours can go on anything. Everything. Okay. Anything. And then we have to have what? We have to have spades. You got to play spades. House rules specifically. But if you don't know house rules, you do the, I, I do ace, ace, deuce, deuce. Ace, ace, deuce, deuce. Or joke, whatever. It's like, it's the, it's y'all people up there, up north. Y'all folks rules. So y'all Newark, Newark, Jersey, Newark. Newark, Jersey, and New York uh rules. It's it's some rules that if you look it up on an app, that's the only way you figure out what the fuck it is. But it's some about them deuces. So it's like the deuce deuce. We, those... play, we in Jersey play big joker, little joker, mm -hmm. deuce of spades, ace of spades. Those are the four highest cards. But That's what you would see in most games. You said deuce of spades? Deuce of spades. But no, it's another deuce. It's a the then, diamond. We take those out of the deck. See, okay, the so... deuce of diamonds and like the deuce of clubs or the deuce of hearts, both of those. Two two of the deuces come out the deck for the jokers to go in. Okay, so if some of if some men y'all do in New York in Jersey. Some, but that's too many. That's you see. So the concept with spades, mm -hmm. as the spades aficionado, as the aficionado. as the, look. First of all, I just want to say this. I I live in a family full of criminals and street hustlers, pool sharks, all that good shit, and I am the reigning reigning spades champion. Six consecutive. Family reunions, okay? Six consecutive family reunions. No one can get me off. The, and I'm talking like, not like, oh, we won a, a lot of games that year. Like, we won. I didn't get up for yeah. six. I didn't get up from the spades table for six straight family reunions. Not once. See, that's a lot. But that's, congratulations to you. And the crazy part is, I don't even have a consistent partner. Each of those six years, I had a different partner. Okay, oh. that's why I'm the reigning champ of my family. Okay, now in saying that, 
I really look at people who put too many spades in the deck. Oh. And I hate to get all black on you guys, but fuck it, it's Juneteenth. You see, what happens is if you play an eighth high game, that means there's 13 spades. Mm -hmm. But then when you do add the, the, the jokers, now you have 15 spades. And then you manipulate the level of the jokers by saying the deuce of spades is high. And I get all that. It's okay. cool. Yeah. But let's play a true game where it's 13 of each suit. And then play your cards how you want it. That's why I like ace high sometimes. Mm. Because it's a truer form. And if you're really in your head counting your cards and knowing which cards play, you know, yeah. You, you it's tighter with 13 spades as opposed to 15 spades. But Ooh, yeah, look. I'm sorry. I get, I get, I know that was a little boring, but I get no, worried I, about spades. I, I made a lot of money playing cards and gambling. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I've been drinking. So, no, but I get what you're saying. When there's more spades, it just, it seems like a lot more. Much, yeah. But I will say though, like, if you go traditional spades, baby, that, okay. So, okay. A part of Juneteenth, traditional spades, not the extra spades. So that's, I think that's a good rule. So you could do house rules and stack on and uno. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to spades, simple. How do you feel about Big Wish? You play that yet? I've never played Big Wish. Okay, yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a pension to play Big Wish. <laughs> <laughs> like God rest her soul, I wanted to learn from my grandmother, but I never learned. I was, she's like, "You explain this big with and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm ready to play spades and fight a nigga right now. Say first, it's like you owe me three dollars. Where my good six? Where my arms? My concealed uh, like, I fought my cousin just like that. That was the exact line. I said, "Nigga, don't you owe me three dollars from when we were six? Nigga, we went to the corner store and you said you wanted two quart juices, you wanted the fifty cent cookie, you wanted the oatmeal cream pie, and you wanted two bags of bonton." I remember all that shit. I hold that in, in high. I see you got problems. What you got going on, Victoria? I have a show with this, but something is there. So we cut that part. Um, we have a show. Oh, we have a show July. Yeah, I, I got think July it's the 14th. Six. I got a, a July 6th show, too. July 6th show. So, yeah. So okay. We got a few things going on. And then it'll be on victoriasetter.com uh, where all the updates will be happening for moi. And of course, Wednesday, every Wednesday at Open Mic. Every Wednesday, at open mic. Yeah, that open mic on Wednesday, boy. Be entertaining. That entertaining. open mic, I've seen a nigga in a dress on that open mic. It be niggas in dresses. Wait. I, I had to wipe that nigga off the mic. He had he he left too much of himself on the mic. Don't, don't do right. Don't 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 do. No, don't I'm do. not gonna do him like that. I'm just saying. Look, first of all. Anyway. Niggas should not wear dresses if they're gonna have dick prints in the dress. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All, you can't say you're transitioning if it's a dick print in your dress. <laughs> you, the transition is is halted. It's stalled. It's 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 just held up. It's the the transition hit a bump. Hit a speed bump. <laughs> anywho, yeah. Anywho. Uh, this is why I'll drink Remy like this because I get ignorant. Yeah. Uh, what else? What? No, I this is something. It's in my brain. Um, if, if she forgets it, I'm just gonna put it at the end of the episode. Anyway, it's gonna be a bunch of flyers that, running. You you gonna see all the flyers? But I want people to know that I'm fucked up. Anyways, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's that, 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 that's it. That's it. That's it. Um, yeah. Um, okay. That's what's up, Victoria. I'll see you out here. She out here working, y'all. Um, y'all all know with me as always, comedic therapy dot XYZ for everything you need to know about what's going on with me. Um, let's see, let's let's, let's, let's run it down. It's Juneteenth, so right, mm -hmm. probably. By the time y'all watching this, it'll be time to go to West Nyack, Levity Live. I'll be out there with Finesse Mitchell. Then we got the comedy brunch at Peabody's, man. We got the homie Anthony Oaks and the homegirl Jayla Shea from out in Philly, man. 
look, man, we about to have a live one now. This that one is gonna be fucking crazy. Like Anthony Oak, I told Anthony Oaks personally, I had to follow Anthony Oaks at a Bob Sumner showcase when we was first on the come up. Mm -hmm. I said, bruh, real talk, I've been on these stages, I've been doing a lot of shit. You were the hardest follow I've ever had to do. Like he was the hardest person I've ever had to follow. Him and Skeet Car, probably. I'm going to throw them the toss up because they both come Skeeter. so crazy. Skeeter. Pause. No homo. Skeeter. But we got Anthony Oates. We got Jay Lachey, man. That's going to be an awesome show. I can't wait to do that. That's January. Uh, it's June, January. It's June 23rd, Peabody's Nightclub, Comedy Brunch. Mm -hmm. Man. Um. <clears throat> then we got Arlington, Texas. Arlington. I'm, your boy is coming to Texas. Tell the Texas syndicate, tell all the MS-13 niggas, tell all the dope boys on 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 um Fofos and Vogues, tell them to come out, tell all the Paul Wall niggas, y'all need a grill. Um, we outside Arlington, Texas, the 27th through 29th. Um, then we got the Baltimore Comedy Factory. Mm -hmm. Baltimore Comedy Factory, July, what's that? 11th through 13th. 14th that weekend we out there in baltimore we everywhere i'm gonna be everywhere this summer i'm y'all gonna be tired of me atlanta those dates are coming soon i'm just waiting for the club to post it because i'm not gonna tell you about a club that that we supposed to be at and the club don't got the shit up and y'all be like the ticket link ain't active because i'll be tired of getting those messages who wants that that's like that so i always make sure the link is live before we say it but Atlanta, we coming real soon. So I ain't even saying the place yet. I'm just going to say Atlanta, we coming real soon. July 25th, Unscripted Hotel. The Unscripted Hotel in, in, in Durham, Raleigh. Oh, no, no. Durham, North Carolina. Durham. I'm about to Durham. say Raleigh, Durham. Yeah. Durham, okay. North Carolina. Like, this ain't my city, but don't do that. Unscripted. And you know what? I ain't even say it. That's a dope one. It's a late night show. It's called Unscripted After Dark. They got the real sexy pool vibes. You need to pull up to that one. That's the one you need to be at. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else we got? What else we got? I think that's... I mean, we're going to have more. Cali. Be on alert, Cali. August is about to be Cali's month. Big Vino invades California. I'm, I'm coming through heavy. I'm talking big shit because I'm off the Remy right now. But I'm coming through heavy in Cali. I'm coming through heavy. Tell them, tell them how to good weed ready. I only want to smoke your best premium buds. I want to I wanna hobnob and rub elbows with the stars. I ain't been out in California in, in well over 10, 15 years. I need to take a trip down to 405. I need to go out to Santa Monica. I need to be on Venice Beach. I need to see all of that. Yes, LA. Tuzzo, I'm on the way. David J. He was on an early episode of Vino's Veritas. Y'all need to go back and check that if y'all want to. But my cousin is a music producer. He makes he scores music for, for like movies, for like motion pictures. Fire. Tuzzo, I'm on the way. We're gonna do an album. We doing an album the week that I'm in California. Oh, I'm on top of album. My cousin, my cousin be all up on the TV screens. He he all up and everywhere. No, he gonna he's already told me he's gonna mix and master an album oh for me. Oh like we used to do shit back in the day when I was a rapper. See, y'all didn't know Big Vino was a rapper back in the day. Mm -hmm. But he's gonna mix and master an album. I've been telling him about this vision I had. It's like I feel like DJ from Hustle and Flow. It's like, man, you ever just had a? <laughs> and this Who's in charge? I'm who's in charge? You who's in charge? I'm Sure. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Who's in charge? Hey, one of my favorite parts. <laughs> I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Say it again. Who's in charge? I'm in charge. <laughs> what talking about? What you talking about? And she later turned out to be Karen in another uh, movie. She's also, yeah. But did she tie your heart too? She the way she, she tie it. Yeah. She said, "Look, I love that girl, man. That girl's a great actress." Yeah. First of all, I don't even remember her name right now, but she's in charge. She's in charge. Who's in charge? I'm in charge. Hey, skinny black man. Fuck skinny black man. Skinny black. Fuck skinny black. I'm in charge. Yeah. Fuck skinny black man. But yes, that is going to be the rest of this. 
I'm good. Because I am. Look, y'all, we about to get up out of here because, uh, you know what? I want some more chicken. And, and I want uh, some more Remy and I keep drinking and I don't know how this is going. Yeah, Look, first of all, celebrate Juneteenth responsibly. And watch good times. Watch good times. Watch, watch good times and then watch the good times on Netflix. Shout out to the homie Slink Johnson. Shout out. I see you, big cuz. I see you smoke yours, man. I'm gonna smoke some of some of theirs right now. Well, I'm probably gonna smoke some of mine's because mine's be the best. But if y'all see me out in the streets, man, remember this: smoke weed when you wake up because it gives your day high hopes. I'm Big Vino, and I am Victoria. Said I'm trying to do the word "fucked" in sign language, <laughs> but I'm gonna figure out next time. But yes, I'm Victoria. Said it. This is the most valuable podcast. We hope y'all have a safe Juneteenth. Yes. Celebrate responsibly. And you know what? Fuck that. Embrace some nigga shit. Chuck a white person. Peace. <laughs> I in my business.